it's Jack here and welcome to a brand new Football Manager 2014 video where we look at the new training screens introduced into Football Manager 2014. So this is an area of the game that's definitely been focused on this year and today I'm going to be taking you through the tabs, looking at the screens, seeing what's new, what's changed and all that good stuff. So anyway, we're going to start with the training overview page and as we can see here... Uh, we're right at the start of a save, but you can see some really interesting stuff. So the first thing that I really like the look of here is a calendar that goes way into advanced. And from here, you can really easily click and see the teams that you've got coming up in fixtures. On top of this, we've also got the match training tactics being trained. So it looks like here you can set up tactics. I just want to check something. I want to know if, if I had a tactic to be trained here, does it then appear on the tactics tab? And the answer is it does. So that's an interesting one. Got a bit of a Christmas tree going on there. So by adding tactics in the training section, they get added to your training area. So I'd actually suggest that if you want to set up new tactics to be trained, you set them up in the tactics area where you can go into a lot more depth. And if you're a bit unfamiliar with the new tactics screen, you can check out a video I uploaded earlier where I looked at that in detail. So anyway, we can see here we've got our next match coming up, which is against the Mexican club. Uh, called America and from here we can click the uh, set up ch uh, sorry change focus and from here we can set match preparation for all the games so this is a familiar screen to what we had before uh, in Football Manager 2013 but it looks like now there's a few new options you can add and remove rest days so you might want to give your players a few extra days rest looks like you can set this up a lot more in advance and you can also set kind of, uh, I guess, what's coming up for the week in terms of intensity levels and, uh, I guess, what training you want to fulfill. So this screen is very similar to last year. However, it has certainly been cleaned up. The other thing we have here is these new pie charts. And everyone loves a little bit of colour and a little bit of visual aids. So what we've got here is uh, the squad training happiness pie chart and the squad fitness one. So this is a really good way to get a general idea of how happy or unhappy your players are at your club in a pie chart form. And then for the squad fitness one, one that I think could be very useful, uh, we're going to be able to see how fit our players are and kind of who's injured or what basically their physical status is this could be a very useful one when kind of deciding on what training focus you need to focus on so for example if your squad's really struggling with fitness and you've got a lot of players lacking match fitness or tired after last match you might want to give them a few extra days rest as a result of what you can see and these new charts really give you a nice way of kind of viewing them all at once in one collective kind of visual aid so anyway, we also have here notable training performances. So this is a, in addition to kind of at the end of every month where you'd kind of get a training review. You can now see them really easily here. So this looks really nice. I like this idea of having a lot all the information accessible off one page. And certainly the new visual aids are going to help this year. So moving on to the team page, we've actually already covered this, but it's pretty much the same as last year. On the individual page front, it looks like from here you can select new training focuses or positional focuses. I know this was possible in Football Manager 2013, however, I'd never really used this screen that much, but I think this year the way it's been laid out and kind of how much more integrated it is into the system as a whole, this is a lot better way to go about adding player training focuses as opposed to either right-click on a player or going on a player and then kind of training them in a new position or role. So from here, you can train a new role or attributes. This is a really useful way to kind of map out all your players at once. You can also set um, intensities and that show their performance, uh, and you can add all the players from the show filters. You can't add tabs, unfortunately, by right-clicking, uh, but there are other options. You can select new positions for players to train. So if you're kind of looking at your squad and here and maybe thinking you lack a left-back, uh, I might now be tempted to train Sacco as a left-back, for example, and I can do so just from here. And I might even want to add you know, other new additions. And we also have the role here where you can uh, kind of see what roles players play best and as a result, maybe train them in their new roles. So again, pretty standard stuff. This hasn't changed too massively however it does look a lot cleaner this year and a lot more usable so the final tab we have here is the coaching tab this has been the same I think for a number of years now looks like we have the exact same categories as before which looks quite nice um, yeah I can't really think of what more I can say here it looks very much the same in terms of the way that uh, I guess each area of coaching is starred. I want to do a video on this in the future. If you guys let me know in the comments, would you like to see a video looking at the new kind of, um, I guess, not the new, but looking at how to assign coaches to different areas and what to look for in your, I guess, general staff. That is a, definitely a video I'd love to do in the near future. 
So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Just taking a look at the new uh, training pages in Football Manager 2014. I think for me, the big one that stands out is the new overview page. Going to be incredibly useful, especially when you get later on into saves. Uh, but yeah, guys, let me know which of these kind of new additions to the training screens you particularly like the look of. If you did enjoy the video, as always, hit the like button, uh, share the video on Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff for me. It really does help me out, guys. And other than that, it is me, Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.